Hey guys, so today I have my son Val with me and we're gonna open another Wii box. So a bunch of you actually wanted to keep seeing me open these even though I've basically said there are uh, a bunch of junk in here. So another one came in and let me see what this says Val. This one... Imagine ancient castles, turrets, misty locks, fairy tales, fairy tale trees, indulgent banquets, and the scent of Scottish heather. This month, transport yourself to an ancient Scottish Scottish castle and experience life as a lady or laird with the study with this stunning wee box. <laughs> All right, so I think this one's for August. And you ready to open it? What are you doing? I'll show me your butt. Um, this is it right here. You ready to open this? Yeah! Okay, let's see what's inside. This box is smaller than the other ones. I don't know why it's so small. Like the actual box itself is like small. Is it small, Mama? Yeah. Is it big? Let's see what's inside. So first we have, it looks like, this is kind of cute. Uh, it looks like a, something you would, like a plaque you would hang on. Oh, I think you hang your keys on it. Key, oh yeah, keys to our castle. It's like a little plaque and it has a castle on it and you just hang it by this rope on the wall. That's actually pretty cute. I wish it was darker colors and, and not white because I don't have a lot of white in my house. Things are mostly like darker and more gothic-y looking, but do you like that? Yeah. You like the castle? Yeah. Next we have Heather Soap. Savon Bruyere, finest triple milled soap made in Scotland. It's soap. Do you smell it. Does it smell oh, good? Yeah. Does it stink? Oh no. No. Uh, this is soap. Yeah, I'll put this over here and I'll take it. smells like kind of like a strong, like floral scent. Um, I usually, I use my own soap. I make soap. If you don't know, I make soaps and they are for sale. In the description box down below, you will see links for my eBay, my Macari, and my Depop where I sell my soaps. Anyways, um, that's actually like decent. Like this box so far is decent. I'm really in shock. Are you in shock? No. You're not? No. The Soap Farm Shortbread Lip Balm. Hmm. Let's smell this. Hmm, that smells good. This smells like cookies. You want to put some on your lips? No. Why? No. Come here. You go like this. Let me put it on you? No. Why not? I Ready? Miss. It's like lip gloss. It's like chapstick. Ready? Let me see your lips. Oh. <laughs> you like it? Can you do it again? Does you want to do it again? Does it taste good? Like this. Does it taste good? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's, it's just a little tin of lip gloss it actually smells pretty good it does smell like shortbread yeah it's really funny her. it's really funny yeah it's really i was really joke it's really a joke what is it i don't know what's this uh jewelry i don't know what this other oh, almost like a brooch Eh, who wears brooches i mean come on play people made with love i don't I don't know. It kind of has like a piece of flannel on there or like whatever. It's supposed to be like the um, tar tartan. I don't know. It has like a, a, some sort of animal, like a deer or something. A scene with like mountains and a, a ball. I don't know. Like what is this ball? Is that like off their hats? Those hats that they wear? And then there's like this animal, I'm guessing it's like some sort of deer, the plaid, the mountains. I don't know, I wouldn't do anything with this. Would you wear that? You put it on your shirt? No? No. <laughs> no. That's silly. Um, they have no food in this one. I'm kind of depressed. Okay. I'm sad about no food. I don't know what this is right here. Let's see what this thing is in this bag. I'm not sure what it is yet, but that's what it looks like on the outside. It's like some sort of satchel. And 
It is, um, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is this? It just looks like it has different compartments. I guess you could put makeup in it. It just has different zipper compartments. I don't, oh, maybe you put your, no, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe you have put food in there. You maybe put food in there. Like snacks? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the outside is pretty, but I don't really understand what it's for. Do you know what it's for? Just snacks, you think? Maybe snacks? Um, All right, let's 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 read the card. Maybe, maybe chicken biscuit. Maybe chicken and biscuit? Yeah. Oh. Can you go get the card so we can read what everything is? What's inside your box? Velvet thistle of Scotland, Scotland jewelry roll. Oh, it's for your jewelry. That long piece must be for where you put your rings on it. Like chicken biscuit? No, not chicken biscuit. Chicken biscuits is crackers. You can't put So it. I think you take this off, and I think you put your rings on here. And so you can go on vacation, and you can bring your rings with you when you travel. Like that. It like stays on there. That's kind of neat, actually. I've never seen anything like that. I think I would kind of, I would, I would probably use this now. Now I feel like I kind of like this. I definitely just end up sticking all my jewelry in a box when I travel, like a little cardboard box. But I would use this. My heart lies in the land of my ancestors, where the thistles grow on the heath. Perfect for the lady of the castle to store her heirlooms. This jewel jewelry roll has soft velvet depicting the thistle of Scotland on the outside with a wrap-around ribbon and smooth satin on the inside. I like it. The next thing is the plaque. The keys to your castle, 15th century Mid-Hope Castle, Outlanders, Lollybrook. I love Outlander. Uh, there is no place like name. Wait. There is no place like Haim. <laughs> There's no place like home. Proudly displays the keys to your kingdom on this bonny key holder depicting Lollybrook Miss Midhope Castle from the books and TV show Outlander. It is the ancestral home of Jamie Fraser, the dashing Highland warrior. That I do know because I really like that show. Dashing Warrior? Yeah, because I'm rewatching it again. Uh, Scottish fine he heather soap may the scent of heather waft a message to you that no words can tell right, come on come sit down this luxury show soap is infused with a traditional scottish heather scent to make you look and feel like the lady or laird of the castle i don't know what really heather is but it did smell pretty floral scent kind of glorious shortbread fit for a queen shortbread that's the stuff we put on your lips the lip gloss lather your lips in scottish shortbread the oh my god. The refinement of which is popular, popularly credited to Mary Queen of Scots in the 16th century. Sarah and her team of artisans makers handmade this enriched lip balm taking inspiration from the first printed recipe in 1736 by Scots woman Miss McGlintock. Alright, we got one more, Bobby. Yep, one more present. One more thing to read. Lady of the Castle Estate Kilt Pin Brooch. Oh, it's a kilt brooch. Oh, Folklore has it that the Queen Victoria introduced the kilt Aww. pin on one blustery day at Bal Balmoral Castle to protect a soldier's <laughs> modesty. This, exclu oh, on, this, ex okay. this exclusive brooch evokes the allure I'm of a Scottish away. castle estate. Love more. Use oh, this is just a discount code for Weebox. <laughs> discount code Weebox twenty twenty percent off. All right. Well, what did you think of that? All that stuff. I think it was pretty good stuff. I don't think. I think this was the best box yet. Like the that plaque with the they hold your keys. I think is great. I think the jewelry holder is great. The soap. You know that'll get used. The lip gloss. I, I mean, I use chapstick and lip gloss all the time. Mm. Um, so, I mean, definitely get used. But the kilt thing, I probably would obviously not wear a kilt. I wouldn't use. And I wish my friend Trevor, the kilted goth, was still around because I would give him that brooch that he could wear. But he has sadly passed away. Um, I was just talking about him recently in another video. But, yeah, it would have been nice to give that to him. So, overall, this was a pretty good box compared to all the rest of them, and I give it a thumbs up. Do you give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up? Ah. A thumbs up and a thumbs down. <laughs> 
give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I enjoyed having Val here to unbox it with me. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And the description are all the links to my social media, like Instagram, Twitter. I sell stuff, like I said, on eBay, my soaps on eBay, Depop, and Macari, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. So that's it. You want to come say goodbye? Bye. So until next time, stay dark, my friends. And I will talk to you guys later. Cool.